friends. Today I have a small shoot that I'm going to do. I am about to be on my way to my friend's house. Uh, I'm gonna take a few photos of my two friends. They're, they have an art show together coming up next month and I'm providing them with a few photos to use for that. So it's kind of cloudy today, but I'm excited to shoot in this cloudy weather. I am used to shooting like in super like sunny weather, but uh, we're gonna switch it up today and we're gonna see what kind of shots we get. I'm very excited. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna do that. Um, it's Easter Sunday today. Uh, we don't really do anything for Easter, although we did last year, but this year is a little more chill. We didn't really have much planned today. So it's kind of just a chill day. I am just going to go to this small shoot and then maybe get some coffee, do something. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and see what we get ourselves into. It's Easter Sunday, so I'm not really sure what's going to be open, but we shall see. I am also recording on a new camera today, so if it looks a little different, that is why. Um, I'm trying to see if I like it, but yeah, we're gonna test it out, see what we think. Um, all that. This is the fit today. I am wearing that Connecticut shirt that I showed you guys in my thrift haul video. I ended up cropping it and then those same yellow shorts that I keep wearing. So yeah, I'm just like, I'm the, honestly the mood is a lounge and carefree and I'm here for it. We are just dressing very casual and very comfortable these days and that's cool so yeah i'm gonna bring you guys along with me and i'll see you guys in a little bit It is April 12th. I, I think so. It's I think it's April 12th. Um, it's Wednesday. I haven't really talked since um, Sunday, Easter Sunday, but I am on my way today to work. Usually my Wednesdays are work days and I like to get some time in at the shop. So I'm going to take you guys along with me and have some coffee, maybe a pour over. I've been drinking a little bit more coffee these days, just a little bit, um, not too much, but we're going to go ahead and just go to work and see what else we do. So yeah, I'm trying to take you guys along with me wherever I go this week and just kind of see what I can vlog. <music>
So just got back from the grocery store. I did like a very last minute grocery haul. So I just kind of showed you guys what I got, but I just got home. I think I'm just gonna relax, meal prep maybe, and then just um, see what else I do tonight. But I probably won't be filming anything else for today. I uh, just wanna do a small little grocery haul, show you guys what I got. Kind of just wanna relax at home, unpack all the groceries, and then just call it a day. I'm just gonna lounge on my couch for the rest of the day. Um, but yeah, I will probably record another clip or two tomorrow. So maybe I'll include a recipe that I've been wanting to make. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys maybe tomorrow. Today is Saturday, April 15th. I'm like trying to keep track of my days and I just don't know what day it is anymore, but I'm just like, I need to get better at that. But I really wanted to include some content of a recipe today and I figured today was a perfect day. So I don't have a lot planned today. Usually the weekends, my partner works. Um, he's getting out early today, like in another hour. So I don't know, we might do something, I'm not sure. We went out to dinner last night. Um, I didn't really vlog yesterday, I don't think I did. Um, but today I wanted to go ahead and finish off this vlog by just including a recipe. I've been doing this crock pot chicken for like the last year and it comes out so delicious and so juicy every single time. So I really wanted to include that to share with you guys today. Um, it's super simple if you just have a lot to do in the day. It's the perfect meal to just kind of throw in the crock pot, kind of forget about it situation, and then um, in two hours, it's ready. So basically the only thing you have to worry about is just making like any sides if you want sides with it. My partner really likes eating this with my Mexican rice that I make. I'll have to include the recipe for my Mexican rice in another one. I keep meaning to do it and I just keep forgetting about it. I actually have some leftover rice from when I made some last time, so I'm just going to throw that together with the chicken. But in another video, I'll go ahead and show you guys how I make it. But for now, I have some extra in the fridge, so we won't be making that today. Paired with the rice, it's a very simple version of arroz con pollo. So it's super delicious. I think you guys would really love it. I honestly live for meals where I could just kind of like throw them in the crock pot. It does its thing and I can do my thing. So yeah, um, so if you go ahead and follow me to the kitchen, let's get started on that. Okay, so I've got you guys set up in the kitchen. I'm trying to make sure like everything is focused and everything. Like I mentioned before, I'm using a new camera. Um, I have this Sony camera that I'm like experimenting with and stuff. So right now I've just been using it to vlog and stuff. Um, so yeah, it's definitely different from how I was vlogging like every other video. So yeah, for now, um, I've been liking it so far. It's just a bit of an adjustment, but I'm enjoying the quality of it so far. First things first though. Okay, you already know I love my sparkling water. I'm a sparkling water fish through and through, but um, this one is my new like obsession. This is the raspberry lime uh, sparkling water from Trader Joe's and it's so good, it's so good guys. It's like literally my new addiction. So before I start cooking, first things first, every single time. Okay, so first step is we're gonna go ahead and get the cast iron out because I like a good sear to my chicken before we put it in here. You guys will thank me later. But um, yeah, most people would just kind of like throw it in here probably, but me personally, I don't mind the extra step because it really does elevate the flavor of the skin, um, unless you just don't like to eat the skin, but you're missing out. Okay, so I have the stove on, I have my cast iron heating up, so you want to make sure that's very, very hot.
Okay, so I just finished seasoning my chicken on one side so far. So I use fajita seasoning. I also use uh, Mrs. Dash table blend seasoning. Um, and then I normally like to use lemon pepper and garlic powder as well, but I'm out of both right now, but it's perfectly fine. It's not going to make a huge, huge difference. Anyway, it's still going to be delicious, but honestly, like any kind of seasoning that you have, or you normally like to season your chicken with, feel free to add. These are just the ones that I like to use. I don't like to use a ton, but it's kind of the same ones that I gravitate towards every time. So yeah, fajita the seasoning, uh, Mrs. Dash, lemon pepper, garlic powder salt and pepper I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side make sure you rub in those seasonings very well um, you will lose some of those seasonings in the pan as soon as they hit the pan um, so you want to just make sure that you season them pretty well um, and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and season the other side now avocado oil is in the pan feel free to use butter it's absolutely delicious with butter as well so I'm gonna go ahead and season the other side of the chicken and then place them into my pan skin side down All right, so I just flipped my chicken. You're not trying to cook the whole chicken through. You really just want to get a nice sear on both sides. So I'd say about like three to four minutes per side would be good enough. Um, and then as you saw, I just chopped up a little bit of onion. I chopped up a uh, garlic clove, or not chopped up, but I cut it in half. And then I threw those in there, just kind of moving, move them around like in your oil or butter if you're using butter. Um, in the meantime, I also cut up um, a little bit of a jalapeno and we're going to also throw that into the crock pot. So this step is almost done. I'm going to go ahead and turn off the heat because whatever heat is in the pan will be more than enough to finish searing the side of the chicken. So we're just waiting on that to finish searing. And in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my crock pot so it can start getting hot. So, yeah. Did that. Hydrate. Okay, so the chicken is looking super good. We're gonna go ahead and transfer that into the crock pot now and do the last bit of steps that we have. All right guys, so this is what the chicken looks like inside the crock pot once all the steps are done. So we added the chicken in there along with the garlic and onions that we're cooking with the chicken in the skillet. I added those in there along with a little extra onion because I just love onion. <laughs> and then I also cut up some jalapenos, threw those in there. Also some cilantro, squeezed half a lemon over everything and then also added some lemon slices to cook along with it. And then I also added about half a cup of water and a few butter slices in there because we gotta have a little bit of butter to make everything super juicy and tender. And then I also have a few tablespoons or at least like one fourth cup of my homemade salsa. I will include that in a later vlog, but um, yeah, it's a super, super good salsa, very flavorful. And I just like to add that over everything. All right, so now the crock pot has been on already, so it's just been kind of warming, but we're going to go ahead and set this to high for two hours and that should do it. So we're gonna go ahead and leave this here, cover the top and kind of just like forget about it for, forget about it. Oh, and now I am just going to clean my kitchen because I made a really 
big mess over there. But yeah, um, I will check in with you guys in about two hours to see what it looks like. Um, and then once the chicken is done, you can either eat it just like that with some rice on the side, or you can also take it apart with like two forks and make tacos with it. Honestly, the possibilities are endless. That salsa that I was telling you that I poured over the chicken, um, I will include it in a later vlog, but the ingredients for that are pretty simple also. It has tomato, jalapenos, cilantro, onion, garlic, tomatillos, um, chile de arbol, and I think that's it. Um, yeah, so a lot of goodness going on, lots of flavors, and I pretty much just put that over the top of the chicken and it just gives it this delicious flavor. I will go ahead and include that recipe in another separate video. It's super simple to make um, and it honestly pairs so well with everything. You could have it just with chips and salsa, just like that, or um, just put it in your tacos. So yeah, uh, at a later time, I will include that recipe, so yeah. Enjoy today's vlog. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye!